for using the Jesus Prayer during a, a penitential season like mm -hmm. Lent. It's an excellent, it's an excellent uh, contemplative practice to take up. Mm -hmm. And I think, um, of course, it's about praying constantly, so you should start using the Jesus Prayer, repeating it in the back of your mind, mm -hmm. under any and all circumstances. Ideally, it's just going on all the time, like background music. But to fix it as a habit, to get it planted in your mind so that it can take root, the usual advice is to take maybe 10 or 15 minutes a day and sit down someplace where you can be quiet, you're not going to be interrupted, and uh, closing your eyes and um, usually bowing your head for some reason. That's what the consistent advice is. Um, begin thinking the prayer in the back of your mind and think it with your whole heart. Address it to Jesus. It's not a it's not like a mantra. It's not like you keep repeating a word and you feel peaceful. That's not it at all. This is crying out to your heart, to Jesus. And if, if you keep doing that, it has a way of increasing your sensitivity to his voice. And it begins to be a conversation. So that's the real beauty of the Jesus Prayer. Not just that you kind of are self-hypnotizing, but that it prepares your heart to listen better and you begin to establish this communication with the Lord so that He's always with you. You will start it, you will say it with great attention and firmness and sincerity three times, then you will continue to say it while you think about what you're going to have for dinner or something. Everybody's mind wanders. Mm -hmm. um, the, the, a mistake would be to get frustrated or angry with yourself. Just brush those thoughts aside when you realize you've been distracted. Just sort of brush them to the side. Go back to repeating the prayer and just tough it out for 10 minutes. Um, it gets easier with practice. The Jesus Prayer actually develops a, the part of your mind that watches your mind. And as that gets stronger, you become better at seeing a thought and, and recognizing it before you accept it. Okay. Thoughts pop up in your mind, bad memories, th uh, things that are your desires or your hopes or your fears. Um, you get to where, in the Jesus Prayer, you get stronger to recognize, I know that thought. Mm -hmm. I don't want to think that right now. Mm -hmm. Or that's even not true. Mm -hmm. so Jesus, Jesus said, He is the truth. The truth will make us free. Mm -hmm. um, the Jesus Prayer exercises your ability to discern truth in, own, in your own thoughts, the thoughts that pop up in your head, mm -hmm. and um, give you an ability to gain the strength to dismiss thoughts that you don't need to think about anymore.